Hey everyone! As some of you may know, the Wings of Fire TV show is coming back, and many of us are super excited about this news. We aren't given much information other than the fact that Amazon is handling the show. Although we don't know if the show will include 10 40 minute episodes, like what was promised for Netflix, we can still theorize what could happen in each part. From scene progressions to title screens, I'll be trying to piece together what an episode would look like for this series. Obviously, we'll start from the beginning. Here, I'm unsure if the show would introduce the Scorching, the Dragonette Prophecy, Clay, or the prologue of the first book. For the first episode, I believe panning up the words of the Dragonette Prophecy would help set the stage. This would be backed up by an atmospheric music track. It could range from slow beating of bass drums or a Skywing Choir. Either way, each stanza of text would present expectations to the audience, hooking them into experience and adventure. I believe it would be best to only introduce this once for the entire series so we're not refeeding information. Next, cutting to Vitter being chased by anonymous dragons would be another eye-catching hook. Seeing fast dragon-shaped blurs fly across the screen could have viewers wondering, what was that? Why are they being chased? Are these the protagonists? This scene could further Vitter's character before he's caught with the Skywing Egg. Maybe a zoom into his eyes darting around can show that he's a worrisome dragon. On top of that, it adds more mystery about who's chasing him. Literally anything to show a bit more character than what we got in the books would be welcome. Then comes Burn, a very authoritative figure. A low angle shot from Vitter's point of view could really embellish the threat of her presence, conveying to audiences how much of a threat she is. This would become more evident when she tosses the egg over the side and murders Vitter on the spot. Now, because we don't have an official classification, maybe the scene may play out in a different way so that we don't see Vitter be obliterated on screen. The camera could be looking down at the ground and then you hear a slice. Then comes Vitter's lifeless head on the floor. He would probably be kicked down the mountain to be discovered by Kestrel and Webbs later in the night. Also, mentioning Asha's death somewhere would be good because her connection with Clay is essential for her story. The show could potentially cut to six years later, with a fading title screen interrupted by clashing noises. To readers, they would know this as Kestrel's and Clay's fight scene. This may play out differently from the novel and graphic variant. I feel as though the Five Dragonette should be introduced during this fight scene, rather than a really big exposition dump later in the reading room. For example, rather than having Tsunami say, Hey Sonny, you're really nimble against me we could have an actual sparring scene with Sunny where she showcases her agile movements. The show can have her dip and dive against Clay's fiery breath, only to have her close the gap and tackle him. The force from her attack wouldn't be enough to actually subdue him. That's when it would be time to pan out the camera and show that it was just a practice fight. This would also be a good opportunity to show that one of the characters is a rain wing and not the requested Skywing. It could be shown by Kestrel trying to manage the sparring match, commenting about how a Skywing could fight compared to a rain wing. It's harsh, yes, but it perfectly shows Kestrel's character and her resentment against the Dragonettes of Destiny. Additionally, she could comment on Clay's fighting. She could say, you're not being ferocious enough. What's gonna happen when you're out there in the real world? Where's that monster you unleashed when you attacked the rest of your nest? This could be followed up by Tsunami and even Sunny defending him. Moving on to the Sandwing Succession War, I believe it was perfectly portrayed in the graphic novel. For me personally, it had an effective hook. It had a lot of bright hues and it gave personality to the characters. From Starflight's embarrassment to playing Blaze and Sunny's meekness, it was a really great show of character. The only exposition dump we would need is who is warring against who, but it could be expressed through scribbles on the continent's map. I believe Dune's and Webb's introduction were satisfactory in both the novel and graphic novel. Although there was a lot of chatting about their feelings, using emotive reactions could go a long way to further enhance these characters. I also find the escape plan to be adequate enough to not be changed in the show. It would convey an accurate depiction of Sunny's mistaken naivety, and the tactical nature of Starflight and Tsunami. Furthermore, their planning phase really shows how tight-knit the Dragonettes are despite being from different tribes. This would help get the point across that Arc 1 is about the main idea of family and connection. Clay meeting Queen Scarlet would make for an amazing scene. The depiction of Queen Scarlet in Mike Holmes' graphic novel would have been perfect if she had actually taken off the scavenger's head. Her menacing figure is accentuated by her armor and bodyguards when she follows Clay under the mountain. Before her reveal, there could be a looming presence among Clay and Tsunami. Maybe they see a scavenger wandering among the tree line, but is suddenly snatched from the trees. Viewers would question, what snatched that scavenger away? Although Scarlet isn't one to be sneaky and subtle, it would still make for a really good scene if a character was an assassin. Now if only there was an assassin in this series. Oh wait, there he is. I'd be excited for the chase scene because it would convey how fast Skywings fly. There have been depictions in The Brightest Night when Pero came in blazing to save Clay from the Dragonbite Venom but there hasn't been anything objectively concrete. Not only that, but it's a first look of the hostility of the continent. Not even stepping out for 5 minutes can bring peace, especially with a high-profile queen like Queen Scarlet. 
A scene of Queen Scarlet capturing the Dragonettes would be interesting too. I imagine Clay and Tsunami would try to defend their friends, while Starflight heads for his scrolls. Sonya could even curl up to Dune, who dies by the hand of Queen Scarlet. The scene would solidify Clay's selflessness and his desire to protect his friends, which would build up in the final scenes of the arc. I imagine the scene would probably end abruptly when Clay gets bludgeoned in the head, resulting in a mild concussion. If he doesn't get concussed, we could get an extra scene. Flying towards the Skywing Kingdom, the Dragonettes could see the desert in the west and the swamps to the east. Clay could have internal thoughts about meeting his parents there, making expectations for himself, and setting a goal for the viewers to look forward to. We could also get a glimpse of Tsunami's combative nature. She may tug in the chains or find some other way to retaliate, showcasing her character. Of course, this could have been displayed during the sparring scene, but this just reinforces the idea that Tsunami is an act-first, ask-later character. A point-of-view shot from Clay's perspective would be great for a scene introducing Queen Scarlet's arena. Even a small tug from his wing could have the camera pan over to his clamped appendages. And that's when we're introduced to Peril, everyone's favorite blunt Skywing. Her forwardness is perfectly captured in the novels. Including in the show would be great to set her character apart from everyone the viewers have met so far. Peril throwing a charred piece of meat at Clay is an amazing utilization of show not tell. We don't need a scene where Peril goes, by the way, I have fire scales. It's implied, and newer viewers could question Peril's actions. Did she just throw him in an edible piece of meat? How careless are their guards if they toss burnt food? The visual depiction goes well with this, and some cracking sounds of char would help solidify the visuals. It also foreshadows Peril's fire scales if the camera decides to focus on the burnt rabbit for a few seconds. Next is the fight between Peril and Horizon. This is essential to the narrative because it gives us the first look of Peril's fire scales in action. The contrast of confidence between the two fighters expertly illustrates Peril's deadly presence. Queen Scarlet's announcement of Horizon winning four painstaking battles would make you think that Horizon is a completely confident fighter, but no not around Peril. I can imagine an intense music track backing up this fight, or maybe some thundering drums from the bleachers while the crowd screams out to the fighters. The sound design would be pretty important for this fight. The sizzling noise of Horizon's burning scales would need to be impactful. Isolating the sound from music would highlight Peril's power, solidifying how dangerous she really is. And then, of course, Horizon would give up and be disintegrated by Peril in front of the audience. I can imagine a triumphant fanfare filling up the arena, but a very surprised and concerned look on Clay's face as he looks at the burnt corpse in the arena. This would make a good use of implicit contrast between Clay and Peril before they even have the heart hard conversation later in the night. Keeping this conversation would be good for the episode. It helps reinforce Clay's and Peril's character with a further emphasis on their vastly different approaches. This links back to Clay's early youth when he attacked his friend's eggs. The scene could transition to a quick flashback if it's necessary, but I think it would break away from the conversation. The only reason to include a flashback is if that event really traumatized Clay, and was the cause of him thinking that he's a monster. Furthermore, the dichotomy of Peril and Clay makes for a very intriguing side plot, especially since Peril loves Clay and he's absolutely oblivious to Peril's advances. It may interest a few viewers, asking themselves if someone as violent as Peril could be with someone so calm and caring. Clay, Tsunami, and Starflight's arrival in Queen Scarlet's throne would be a really important scene. There's a lot of exposition here, from Glory's condition to Burn's collection tower. Clay asking what Queen Scarlet did with Sunny feels very natural because he's constantly looking out for his friends. Although it causes Starflight to step on his tail, it gives us some information about Burn's mutilation habits. This can give a sense of urgency to escape if Queen Scarlet is planning to give one of their friends away. And finally, the scene with Clay and Fjord. An instant background transition would work well here, with Clay's valiant expression turning into one of regret. A shocked look from Clay's face would perfectly mimic his thoughts when he entered the arena for the first time. The sound team can go crazy with the loudness of the crowd, really accentuating the gravity of the situation. Some triumphant music can also be played while Clay questions his survivability against the Icewing. A fitting end for the episode is when Clay is pinned down by Fjord. This creates tension, and leaves newer viewers on a cliffhanger. How will Clay escape from this? Will he survive a full-on ice blast? I can just imagine the glare from Fjord as he readies his frost breath, while the score reaches its climax. It'd be a really intense end to episode 1. And those were some of my predictions of the Wings of Fire show, at least for episode 1. Do you think the show could go a completely different route? Let me know. Subscribe for more Wings of Fire, and as always, thanks for listening. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention in the script is that the Wings of Fire theme song would also play, but um, it would play during the credits. Um, something similar to uh, kind of like how Brooklyn Nine-Nine did it, or Komi Can't Communicate, or um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I don't know if you've watched those um, films, or TV shows, sorry. Um, how they play the, the main theme at the end of the first episode, or their pilot. Um, I thought it would do, or um, I thought the show would do the same thing like that as well. 
there's just something to throw out there. Also, please, um, if you do have predictions or something you want to talk about the show, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to see your opinions and how you think the show will go. Um, I'll do my best to respond to every single one of them because I absolutely love talking to you guys through the comments. It's very nice. But uh, yeah, I won't keep you guys for long. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day.